I would like to carry your argument concerning single mother families uh, a little bit farther. Single parent, it, I'm sure you also include a single parent in that. I'm not so sure that there is much evidence about the biological need of the infant uh, after it's born. But certainly there are sociological and cultural needs. Our culture is in a state where even a true parent family is really not enough. In primitive and less developed parts of the world, and historically, children grew up with much more than two parents. Especially in our culture, two parents are not enough. The way children used to grow up, first of all, the grandparents lived with the family, as did aunts, uncles, it was an extended family. This, this gives buffers to the parents, but it gives the children many parents. If there's problem at home, you can just run down the way and pop in at an auntie's house, who may or may not even be related, and stay a couple of days until things blow over. Two parents can't provide enough culturally and sociologically for a growing child. You know what Bernard Shaw said about divorce? Divorce is a good thing because then when the parents remarry, the child gets four parents. This is good. We need more parents for a child than two. So I don't think it's quite worth getting in such a to-do about, about how horrible a single parent family is in which to raise a child. The father and mother, and just that, isn't all that much better. And I remember all through my childhood praying nightly that my parents would get a divorce. Then the fighting could stop. 